A fast food nightmare may be getting worse. A two-year-old child died today in Seattle, and the killer tainted meat from Jack in the Box hamburgers. A nationwide recall today for more than 140 tons of ground a beef. A half a million pounds of ground beef. Today, nationwide recalls of ConAgra ground beef. E. coli isn't just in ground beef now. It's been found in spinach, apple juice, and this is really because the runoff from our factory farms. 90 confirmed cases of E. coli poisoning. Central to it all, raw bagged spinach. This is the 20th E. coli outbreak with leafy greens in just the last decade. For years during the Bush administration, the chief of staff at the USDA was the former chief lobbyist to the beef industry in Washington. The head of the FDA was the former executive vice president of the National Food Processors Association. These regulatory agencies are being controlled by the very companies that they're supposed to be scrutinizing. ConAgra, which recently recalled peanut butter contaminated with salmonella, was aware of problems in its plant two years ago. There's always been food poisoning. As more and more technology is being applied to the production of food, you would think it would be getting safer, uh, not more contaminated. But the processing plants have gotten bigger and bigger. It's just perfect for taking bad pathogens and spreading them far and wide. The recall of frozen hamburger now includes 22 million pounds. Enough meat to make a fast food hamburger for every adult in America is being recalled. In the 1970s, there were literally thousands of slaughterhouses in the United States. And today we have 13 slaughterhouses that process the majority of beef that is sold in the United States. The hamburger of today, it has pieces of thousands of different cattle ground up in that one hamburger patty. The odds increase exponentially that one of those animals was carrying a dangerous pathogen. It's remarkable how toothless um, our regulatory agencies are when you look closely at it, and that's how the industry wants it.